Other interesting political news, you have the highest unemployment rate since 2021, and the government also recently inflated jobs, which, government lying, yes, that really isn't news, but it's also something to keep, keep remembering. Now, this again is brought to us thanks to Colin Rugg over on X Twitter. He says, quote, Justin, the unemployment rate has ticked up to 4.1%, going over 4% for the first time since 2021. 75% of jobs created in the last month came from government and healthcare education. Also known as, also known as trash. It says May jobs were revised from 272,000 to 218,000. April jobs were revived from 165,000 to 108,000. Black and Asian unemployment rates increased. Full-time employment in June actually decreased by 28,000 workers. Part-time employment went up by 50,000 workers. In just a year, the unemployment inc rate increased from 3.4% to 4.1 percent this is a video also at and cnbc see what he has to say here a little summarize june jobs 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 report non-farm payrolls expands 206,000 206,000 and that of course is benchmarked against the rearview mirror which right now is going to be revised minus 111,000 is the two-month revision and if we look at the unemployment rate he nailed it. Our buddy nailed it up one-tenth of a percent from 4% to 4.1%. 4.1% is the hottest, and we have to go back a ways. Last time we were at 4.1 was November of 21. So you have to go back now to October of 21 to find a higher rate, which was 4.5. 74% of the jobs came from government and health. You so the government's just playing the numbers. So they're just creating jobs by stealing more tax dollars from us. I would argue how many of those jobs are necessary? Yeah, probably not so many. And yeah, this is not great news for the election cycle. Fascinatingly enough, I am part of the Facebook groups for Biden and Trump and a couple other folks just to see what folks are thinking. There are people who, I'm not sure if they're cognitive or coherent. Or they're coherent, they're saying things or typing them properly. But there are people who still believe this is one of the best economies ever. They proclaim that probably on social media. I can't fathom, unless they're a defense contractor, I can't see what industry is doing great right now. Because it seems like every business I know, and pretty much everyone I know, is struggling these days. And yet, there are people so, in my opinion, delusional that they think this is, the economy is doing great. Which, again, I would love to know where and what industry they work in. Because most industries are struggling to say the least. Now, scrolling down, some of the top comments comes from Joshua Walker saying, quote, they hit the headline with astronomically good numbers and then hit the footnote with revisions. Everyone sees the lie and truth getting overlooked. At 289 likes. Really one for myself. Let's see. Paul Zupa says, quote, And let's not forget about the birth death rate adjustment. The reality of the economy is far worse than all these negative numbers could indicate. Everything is being bloated up to make it look better than it is. Same thing with illegal border crossings. It's terrible. Here's a monthly payroll versus birth, death birth rate, birth rate adjustment. There's 2.6 million payrolls added in the last 12 months, half of which were from death birth rate adjustment. I got 51 likes. Arthur Eagleman says, quote, our government lies about everything, getting 576 likes, which, yeah. Planet of Memes did not respond in meme forms, so a little disappointed, but nevertheless, this alleged Planet of Memes says, full-time work taking a hit again, getting eight likes. Let's see here. Rick Suit says these are not revisions, they are entirely new numbers. 272,000 down to 218,000, 165,000 down to 108,000. In both cases, the initial number is so far off, it's worthless. Got yeah, 172 likes. ZNO says last year's wasn't any better. Never take the Biden admin's numbers to be face value. Got yeah, 39 likes. The Salty Goat says, so, oh, so they finally caught up. Going back and changing the numbers is actually way higher, but they changed the way they wanted to report it. I mean, 61 likes. Let's see. Peacemo says, since June 2023, the U.S. has added 1.8 million part-time jobs and lost 1.6 million full-time jobs. Dynamics. Unquote. I got 12 likes. A lot of infographics. Sassfrass84 says, Bidenomics in action. I'm so tired of the gaslighting of the Biden administration does. How does anyone still believe this is beyond me. Getting 80 likes, which, man, I should really try to, eh, maybe incorporate an interview part of the show where I interview some of those folks. Because, again, there are people who think the economy is doing great. They think inflation is not bad at all. 
There's actually someone in the Twitter spaces that said they thought their groceries were the same price as four years ago. I, they, I, I don't know where they live. They, like, they claim to be in the United States. I forget what state they were in according to their extra profile. But yeah, there are people who they do think the economy is doing great and they think inflation is not bad. Let's see here. Redway Press says, I'll be curious to see how the Biden administration spins this to try to make themselves look good. The economy is in a scary place right now. We could be headed towards a massive recession in 2025. Seeing 38 likes. Let's also not forget that the U.S. petrol dollar is now dead with the agreement with Saudi Arabia, apparently. And, yeah, we have high interest rates and inflation. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's going to take to get better. Going down more and more. Let's see here. Yeah, I, I, again, the thing gets me, 74% of the jobs came from government. It isn't creating jobs, it's just stealing tax dollars to make mostly bureaucratic junk. This will be, yeah, I believe this is going to be one of the top five topics when it comes to the election this year. You know, a lot, it's a cliche to say, I mean, oh, what was it? There's a famous political quote where he says, is the economy stupid? Which, yes, it is very much so. I wish more people realized these jobs that be created, a lot of them are government jobs. They're not the private sector. And again, to create value, you need the private sector to actually do things, create new services, new products, new ideals. So let me know. And again, do you know anyone who thinks legitimately that the economy is doing great, there's not bad inflation, jobs are doing great? I see them on social media. I've never met them in real life. But let me know in the comments. As always, I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.